I'm home court, it's dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around by when I'm Harlem Nights. So here at Harlem Nights, you are able to share the screen with legends from Eddie Murphy, uh, different um, generations. You know, Richard Pryor, Red Fox, Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall was on the come up with you as well, who I, I assume is your peer, you know what I mean, in that in that respect. Um, what was that experience like and how did you land Harlem Nights? I'm friends with Eddie. Okay. Friends with Eddie and- um, Good old I, nepotism. Yeah, I, I yeah. had the um, I had the role of the Arsenio role. He wasn't in the movie. Okay. Arsenio wasn't in the movie. Arsenio just happened to come by that night. Okay. And he said, wow. hey, you, why don't you be in the car too? You guys be brothers. Wow. And I said, yeah, let's do it. So Arsenio wasn't yeah. even in the scene. They dressed him that night. He came. And the little guy with the gun. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't in it either. Wow. He was a prop guy bringing out the gun. It was going to do with that little shit. Matter of fact, put him in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he set the whole so that so that So that scene right there when he when when Arsenio hit him with the hat said, stop shooting that little All shit. That, Is that improv? 100%. Arsenio really? turned it out. <laughs> all that, yeah, we get all yeah. that Arsenio killed it. Yeah, Arsenio killed it. But you gotta give Eddie Murphy a profit because prop, prop, props because every single thing and he created so many moments mm -hmm. that weren't there. Just mm -hmm. hey, you know what? Do this and do that. Yeah. A lot of the best moments. That was just him. Yeah. Smartest genius ever, ever in this business. Mm -hmm. People don't know. Oh yeah, Eddie's it, a beast. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, just intellectually, mm -hmm. probably one of the smartest. Doctor Bus is probably the smartest person I ever met. I would absolutely say Eddie is probably second to Dr. Buss. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's so crazy because even like I said, as when I was thinking about you coming to the show, I was like, damn, OG got even just your presence has always felt even with the most, my, you know, minute things that you may do. Like you broke my nose, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like little shit that you do, it's, it, it stands out even, you know what I mean? Even it's not what you yeah. get, it's what you do with what you right. get. Right. That's the bottom line. You can have one little line and then you could just, if I say, you broke my nose, then no, it would have been mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not what you get, it's what you do with what you get. Yeah. Period. How many, how many days were you filming on Harlem Nights? God, I, I don't even remember, bro. It's yeah. so long ago. I'm saying, did you get a, a chance to fraternize with- Oh, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there with Rich Pryor and all that. Yeah. But you gotta remember, I'm from North Carolina to me. Right now, I now, now I, I think about I was on a set with these letters da, 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 mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. That like that. Mm -hmm. If when I was on there, I would have been like this. I was like this. If Richard Pryor would have been standing right me and said, "Hey, what's your name?" I would have been like Miguel. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I to me, I, I was like that. To me, uh huh. I've never been, you know, like to anybody because I've always. Even every time I went at something, everybody was like, dude, you, you just got this. You, you, how you feel about it? I was still like this. Mm -hmm. Cause I knew that's another one. No, that ain't shit. That's yeah. what I always said. No, no, no. I always know it's coming down. Yeah, I yeah. always felt that way. I met every star, hung out with damn every star you can think of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's not what, just, but, but, but met, but hung out. But OG is different from hanging out with a motherfucker and then working with someone. You no, know absolutely. What I mean? That's that's yeah. a whole different type of thing. Yeah. So to be able to know that you made it to that to that level to where you're sharing the screen with these people who at that point their careers could be, hey, listen, be further. I can ahead I'm at not that down. Time. I'm not mm -hmm. I am hundred percent blessed. Everything that I've done or accomplished, I don't think hey, it was me. I think it it was by me. I think it was done through me, but yeah, I think it was sure. by God. For sure. Hundred percent. He took Absolutely. care of me. And he brought me to where I am now. I don't take credit from him. I think it was done through me. Absolutely. But it was done by him because Absolutely. there are people just as talented, not even more talented than yep. I am. And and I think that God protects where God directs. And I think you bring a child up. And because when I was in Skid Row, it was the closest I'd ever been to God because I promise you, I was sleeping behind the bus station in the beginning because it was the only place I knew. Mm -hmm. Every day, I, and you know, you see people walking on the street like, hey, come on, come on, die, stop. You, know, you think they're crazy. Mm -hmm. Literally, I would get up and go, hey, good morning. Um, and literally, I promise you, just like I was telling my friends then, I had that relationship. He was, I really talked to God. Mm -hmm. I really depended on him. I really felt him there. I was like, just like he was a best friend, I might've been crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, people might think I'm crazy down mm -hmm. the street. I was like, where am I gonna eat today? You know? Mm -hmm. And I would be talking to him. I wouldn't be just saying it. I literally had the closest relationship but if I had not known about that relationship, mm -hmm. you know, if I had been brought up to yeah. know about that relationship, I wouldn't have been able to draw Did on Did you it. grow up in the church? 100%. PK. Okay. My grandparents, my grandfather's the uh, pastor of the church. Okay. We owned the church. It was right next door okay. and all of that. I'm home court, standing trial. Why ain't I 
and I see you round back when I was down. Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.